Hey guys, Mojo Atomic here with my new lathe based pickup winder. Just completed it pretty much um, last night, I guess. Well, I did fab a few parts tonight. <clears throat> Basically, this unit uses a Harbor Freight branded lathe, although there are several others like this that would probably also work. Several from Delta come to mind immediately. Uh, I fitted it with a Sestos C3E counter with a relay built into it. Basically the way it works is this optical sensor gets fed positional data by this opto interrupter. As it spins around it sends a signal to the Sestos C3E and you can see it increments its count forward with each revolution of the disc. As it's set right now once this top number reaches 125, the normally open relay will close and shut off the motor controller to the lathe and your pickup will stop winding. So it's just an auto stop feature basically. <clears throat> this right here is a uh, tachometer uh, and this is a forward reverse switch. So you don't have to dismount your pickups or mount them backwards, upside down, anything weird. You can just wind clockwise or counterclockwise. No muss, no fuss. So let's get right into it. Let's say we wanted to wind a pickup, uh, a strat style. And let's say we wanted to go with 10,000 winds. We'll call it 10,125 winds. Now we're ready to go. <clears throat> if I were to start right now, the lathe would begin to spin and the numbers would start to increment. As it got to 10,125 complete revolutions, the motor would shut off and the operation would be complete. We'd have a pickup. We probably don't want to wait that long. So let's go with a more manageable number. Fifteen hundred twenty-five sounds about right. We'll go ahead and set the pickup winder. This lathe, as it ships, starts out with a starting speed of seven hundred and fifty RPM and goes up to around three thousand. Seven hundred and fifty RPM is really not what we want. We really want it to go dead slow. We want it to start at zero and move up from there. So I've made a small adjustment on the circuit board of the lathe. Um, that allows that to happen. So as you can see, we can run the lathe dead slow. So instead of manually jogging this disc with my hand and getting it in the way when I'm trying to wind, I can run the lathe dead slow, get a few winds on my pickup before I really get into winding it. So let's go ahead here <clears throat> and speed up a little bit. Let's say we'd probably want to wind this pickup since I'm not the greatest in the world. I probably want to run it around 1400 RPM, something like that. We should get there pretty quick. For this example, we'll get there within a minute. I'm just humming along here. Fifteen hundred twenty-five RPM. You can see the relay change states to closed. Shut off the motor, and we've got a completed pickup. This is very important. Once this happens, you want to make sure that you turn your speed control all the way back to zero. Were you to reset this with the speed control anywhere other than zero, the lathe will just take off and go straight to that speed. That can leave you with a nasty surprise, so always remember to turn this knob down to zero before you reset the count. Okay, thanks for watching.